In a world where people irrationally fear the unknown and misperceptions run rampant, a world where do-gooders that play a vital role in the ecosystem are looked at as nuisances and demons. One man seeks to restore the reputation of an entire species. That man is the Batman. He may look a little different than the caped crusader featured in the comics, but he shares a similar passion for the winged mammals that gave them both their superhero names. And he even has the pleasure of working from his very own bat cave. We are at Bat Conservation International's Bracken Cave Preserve here in San Antonio, Texas. Bracken Cave behind me is the home to the largest colony of bats in the world. So it's a maternity colony of Mexican free-tailed bats. So right now we have eight to 10 million mommy bats in the cave and sometime in the next couple weeks they're gonna have babies. The, this colony is made up of thousands of smaller colonies that have migrated from all kinds of different places in Mexico and they come here to this cave just to have their babies and raise them here. The migration is thousands of miles uh, in March as they come into Texas and uh, thousands of miles as they migrate back to Mexico in November when it starts getting cold in Texas. So we got all these trees and the grasses and all the walking sticks and the katydids and all kinds of other bugs that are flying around. So the bats practice catching those before they have to fly away far away. What we're gonna see with the bat flight tonight is the bats are swirling inside the cave. We're gonna have this vortex of bats. And that vortex of bats is gonna move out into the sinkhole behind me and start swirling up to the treetop level and then they're gonna stream away. So we're literally gonna have a bat-nado, a tornado of bats swirling out to get out of the cave. And then they stream away, kind of like the river of bats, uh, to get away from the cave so they can get downrange to forage for food. They're gonna fly around 60 miles away from here. Uh, one of the cool things about Mexican free-tailed bats is they are the fastest mammal there is. Been clocked at over 98 miles an hour in powered flight. So, very fast, high-flying bat. Well, bats use echolocation, which is sound waves, to see in the dark is basically what they're doing. So, they yell at a level that we can't hear, and that sound wave goes out and bounces off something, it comes back, and the bat can see whether it's an insect. If it's an insect, they can see what direction it's flying, how far away it is, how fast it's flying. One of the biggest benefits we get from bats here in the U.S. is all the insects they eat. And that's good for us and good for our farmers uh, because of those insects. Uh, worldwide, bats are important for seed dispersal and pollination of other plants. There's over 500 species of plants that bats pollinate that, that we eat out of the grocery store. 